This talk is for fourth year or specialization students of the University of Distant Education. They are all together six units for semester one. Now, I explain the points to be studied in this unit, closes and appearance. In this unit, you have to study the way we dress, grammar focus, common verb patterns, and club sentences with what? Vocabulary, adjectives to describe outward appearance, and writing, writing about personal beliefs. This unit focuses on clothing and personal appearance. In this unit, firstly, I would like to explain the way we dress. Here, the clothing that people will sets something about their personalities. We can learn some new vocabularies to describe clothing styles and weights or dressing. Concerning this, let me introduce you some new words here. Example, vintage clothing stool means it is a shop that sells all high quality clothes. Conventional means not at all and usual. Chic, stylish, fashionable and trendy. Glasses means likely to remain popular for a long time. Conservative means not fashionable or modern. Eccentric means odd or unusual. Fleshy means showy. All fashion means not modern. Retro means a style identified with a past era. Sloppy means messy, not neat. Trendy means in style at the moment. Next, you have to learn grammar forgets, common verb patterns, club sentences with what. Now, I explain the following common verb patterns. Verb infinitive. Yen people tend to wear brighter color than older people. Verb object infinitive. In the structure, verb infinitive, the object comes between the verb and the infinitive. I advise him to wear formal clothes to the party. Parents often encourage their teenage children to spend lunch or clothes. Verb gerund. Designers usually recommend wearing complementary colors. Verb object preposition gerund noun. The object also comes between the verb and the gerund or noun. Please note that the preposition follows the object. I advise him against wearing kosher clothes to the party. Tradition often prevents people from dressing and usually. Now, let's study the distinctive verbs that you should know with their own examples. Turn to, to look after someone or something. Example, he tends to wear dark colors. Advice, to give someone advice to suggest something. Example, his daughter advises him against smoking, allow or permit. To give permission for someone to do something or to not prevent something from happening. Example, you are not allowed to talk during the exam. Avoid to steal away from someone or something. Example, I try to avoid supermarkets on Saturdays. They are always so busy. Discourage to try to prevent by showing disapproved. Example, we should discourage this practice among our youth. Encourage to make someone more likely to do something or to make something more likely to happen. Example, we were encouraged to learn foreign languages at school. 
forbid, to refuse to allow something, especially or officially. Example, my daughter has forbidden me sugar. Now, let's do the following exercises. Choose an appropriate verb to complete each sentence below. Several verbs are possible. Then, you have to write a follow-up comment for each sentence. The words given here are advise, allow, avoid, discourage, encourage, forbid, permit, tend, try, and want. Let me give an example. Number one, school sometimes blank students to world jeans to class. The answer here is Schools sometimes forbid students to wear jeans to class. They think that students will feel too relaxed and won't work as hard. This is the follow-up comment for this sentence. Now, let's study the other exercises. Number two, parents often blank they are daughters from wearing makeup and jewelry. The answer for this sentence is Parents often discourage their daughters from wearing makeup and jewelry. They don't want their daughters to appear to grow up at early age. Number three, schools sometimes don't blank May students do work earrings? The answer for this question is Schools sometimes don't allow or permit or want May students to wear earrings. Some schools think that it is distracting if they allow such factions. Number four, young people blank to be more concerned about clothes than older people? The answer here is, young people tend to be more concerned about clothes than older people. Young people are more easily influenced by their peers. Question number five. On an airplane, you should blank wearing clothes that are too tight. The answer here is, on an airplane, you should avoid wearing clothes that are too tight. Tight clothing is uncomfortable and bad for your circulation. Number six, people sometimes blank to shock others with their clothes. The answer is, People sometimes try or want to shock others with their clothes. They like to see other people's reactions. Number seven, some companies blank employees to wear casual clothes to work on Fridays. The answer here is, some companies allow or encourage or permit or want employees to wear casual clothes to work on Fridays. It is a chance to relax after a hard week of work. Number eight, eight spots blank people against wearing locked colors to job interviews. The answer here is, experts advise people against wearing loud curls to job interviews. Employers may misjudge a job applicant who wears fleshy clothes. These are the examples and you can also give suitable comments for each sentence. The next item you need to know is 
Rewrite the sentences beginning with what. Club sentences are used for focusing attention on a particular piece of information. Sentences beginning what are called club sentences and they are used to show emphasis. The clause study with what is the subject of the sentence. A noun clause takes a singular verb. Let me give an example. Compare the two sentences. I notice people's eye spots. What I notice first about people is their eyes. Sentence B is a club sentence and the purpose is for emphasis. Now, let's try another example. I like to listen to people's voices. How will you change it into a club sentence? Start your sentence with what? Then, Add a clause to form a subject. What I like to do? Next, add a verb is. After that, you can finish your sentence by adding the remaining phrases. So the correct answer is, What I like to do is listen to people's voice. Now, let's check your answers as follow. Number one. What I notice first about people is how they dress. Number two, what I generally listen to is their accent. Number three, what I look at first is their eyes. Number four, what I ask about first is their hobbies and interests. Number five, what I pay attention to is their manners. Number six, what I look for is their sense of humor. Seven, what I do is the way they look at me. And number eight, what I notice for is their smile. Now, let's study example sentences in your study guide. Number one, what I notice first about people is they are eyes. Number two, what I'm interested in is they are clothes. Number three, what's really important to me is a person's smile. Number four, what I notice for is a person's hands. Number five, what I generally look for is a nice pair of shoes. Number six, what I notice first is a person's figure. Number seven, what strikes me first is the way they wear their hair. Now, let's move on to vocabulary. It's a tips to describe our word appearance. Now, let's study the list of adjectives and their meanings that are used to describe outward or noticeable appearance with their assemble sentences. Arrogant, conceited, and too proud. Assemble, a man three siblings. Nii is the most arrogant. He was a rude, arrogant young man. Dignify, noble, stately. Example, throughout his trial, he maintained a dignified silence. Forbidding, looking and friendly or dangerous. Example, the house looked dark and forbidding. Intellectual, intelligent. Example, he does not play football. His interests are mainly intellectual, intense, showing strong feelings. Example, she is very intense about something. Self-satisfying, please wait oneself. Example, he had a self-satisfying smirk on his face. 
severe, strict or harsh. Asame, the courts are becoming severe more on Chen offenders. The headmaster spoke in a severe voice. Sinister, seeming evil and threatening. Example, there was something cool and sinister about him. Striking, and usual or noticeable in some way. Example, she has a striking good look. Sympathetic, kind and understanding. Example, I don't find her a very sympathetic person. Trustworthy, honest, reliable. Example, is your friend trustworthy? Now, let's move to writing. Writing about personal beliefs. For this item, let's study the example given in your text. In a conversation about a personal belief, you need to state belief in a thesis statement in the first paragraph. Here, you need to know what a thesis statement means it's. Now, I like to explain this. The first paragraph of a conversation contains a thesis statement and each of the paragraph has a single focus expressed in a topic sentence that develop the thesis statement and it will express the writer's personal belief about fiction. In the following paragraphs, you have to give examples to support your thesis. Look at these headlines. Which headlines best reflects your opinion about fiction? And why? Read the four headlines to determine which best reflects their own attitude towards closest. Why look like everyone else? Well, the very latest fiction. Feel comfortable, that's all that matters. Don't just get dressed, make a statement. Use the headline you choose in exercise A as a basic statement about your personal belief about fashion. It's important to dress in a way that makes a statement about who you are. Use your thesis statement to develop a conversation of about 200 words that describes your approach to clothes. Before you get dressed or go shopping for clothing, it's best to think about what kind of message your clothes send to others about who you are. No matter what you wear, your clothes make a statement of some kind whether you realize it or not. When people look at me and the clothes I wear, they can get an idea of this kind of person I am. I'm interested in the arts and I'm concerned about environmental issues. Therefore, I not only wear clothes that are a bit unusual, but I also wear natural fabrics that are made locally. I don't follow trends because I don't change my basic character from year to year. This is for your developing this statement and I would like to conclude my talk here. I hope at the end of my discussion you've got the ideas and can do the exercises very well. Goodbye.